At a famous museum protected by countless gods against vandalism or theft, the most priceless painting in the world, Whistler's mother-in-law, is about to be shown for the first time. Guards, let the public in. Wait, such a famous painting should be veiled and unveiled. It's Myron the Magician! We've got him! The hotline. Batfink here. Batfink? Myron the Magician just stole Whistler's mother-in-law. Whistler's father-in-law must be worried. I must find Myron the Magician. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. Hocus Pocus. That thing's sonar radar. Hoodlum Houdini is in there. Locked. Leave it to capable karate. <coughs> That's trick number one. He must be hiding. Maybe he's in this closet. Karate's gone. That's trick number two. I don't know what's behind this closet, but I must find karate. Karate! That's trick number three! <laughs> I will now make Bat Fink disappear forever! My wings of steel can smash any iron chain. <laughs> but not a rubber one. I will now perform my greatest trick of all. You will go off that cliff on this flying carpet. Even you can't make a carpet fly. So it will fall. That thing struggles vainly against his rubber bonds as the carpet careens toward the jagged rocks below. Is there any hope, or will Batfink end up on the rocks? Myron was a pretty tricky customer, Chief. There was always another trick up his sleeve. I have a trick up my sleeve, too. Pick a card, any card. A busy national airport. Top secret plans arrive by special diplomatic courier. Suddenly... Pardon me. Special diplomatic courier with the top secret plans. Didn't you used to sit behind me in Miss Velko's class in Monet? Out of the way, you. I never forget a face. Let me take a closer look. That light. I, I can't see. Isn't that strange? I can see you and the plans. It's the evil mad scientist, Hugo Agogo. And my new secret weapon, the MPFT BRM. What's that? I told you it wouldn't be a secret. The word goes out to the split level K for Batfink and his assistant, Karate. The hotline. Batfink here. 
Hugo Agogo has just made off with the top secret plans, Batfink. He has a new weapon, the MPFT BRM, whatever that is. It's the millisecond photo flash temporary blinding ray monocle. Mad scientists have been working on it for years. Leave it to me, Chief. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. Mirror, mirror, answer all. Who is the maddest scientist of all? Come on, answer me. Stupid mirror. In Snow White you talk. For me, you're a dummy. Ah! That Fink supersonic sonar radar wants to find the millisecond photo flash temporary blinding gray monocle, eh? Well, take a good look. My sonar radar is coming back. Hey, it's been temporarily blinded. It can't find me. Good. The Vandalak is racing up the twisting mountain wall. That Frank, I can't see. It worked. Okay, so it didn't work. Yet. I can see all right now, Bat Frank. Good. Wait here. This time, I'll protect myself from that ray with a blindfold. I always have one in my utility sleeve. Hmm. A billfold, a folding bill, the rent bill. I know I've got a blindfold in here someplace. Frank, I'm trapped. But Frank, I'm safe. Wrong. You're trapped. And your wings of steel cannot penetrate this plutonium glass chamber. That is the sound of the air being withdrawn from the vault. In seconds, you won't be able to breathe at all. And just so you shouldn't see this horrible thing I'm going to do to you, I'll give you a shot of the old MPFT BRM. It will even penetrate your wings of steel. Bye-bye, boys. For Batfink and Karate, does the MPFT BRM spell the END? How can they escape? Hold your breath. They are... <laughs> I can't see! You did it again! You were blinded by your own mirror. Stupid mirror! That's seven years' bad luck. Want to try for 14? This is the world-famous burglar-proof museum of gold. On the outside, it is protected by an impregnable fence of solid plutonium. The door to the main vault room is three feet thick and can only be opened by a combination known to one man in the world, and he was told to forget it. The vault itself has no opening at all. It was permanently sealed by nuclear fission, for inside is the most valuable idol in the world, the solid gold goddess of Gizmo. Only a foolhardy madman would attempt such a robbery. How would you like to meet a foolhardy madman? You go a go-go. The word goes out to the split-level cave for Batfink. The hotline. Batfink here. That Fink, the solid gold goddess of Gizmo, has been grabbed from the Museum of Gold. Only a foolhardy madman would attempt such a robbery. How did Hugo Gogo do it? He's harnessed the energy of lightning. Karate, the battle act. My supersonic sonar radar can help me. Supersonic sonar radar. I'll recharge my electrodes and be ready for him. It's 
a good thing the Battleac is equipped with a thermonuclear insulated heat shield. It's also good he missed. It's bolted. Stand back, Batfink. You broke my bolt with a jolt. So I'll give you a jolt with a bolt. Batfink, how come? My wings of steel act as a lightning rod and attracted your lightning bolt. As long as I keep one wing grounded, you cannot harm us. Thank you for telling me. Attract this one right through karate. You stunned him temporarily. I'll short circuit your generator before you do any permanent harm. I'm draining off all your power. And I am safe so long as one of my wings of steel touches the ground. I always wanted a sunken living room. Hopelessly helpless. One more big jolt of lightning will finish him. Oh, no! My power is pooped! But there's plenty of lightning up there. I know, I'll do the old Benjamin Franklin bit. Anybody can fly a kite, but only Hugo Agogo can fly a bat right into the lightning. Is this the shocking end of our hero? Will that thing become a current event? The electrifying climax comes now. Batfink, are you all right? Yes, Karate. The rain revived me at the last moment, and I dodged the lightning bolt. Let's get out of the storm. Don't worry, Batfink. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. You were right, Karate. The lightning missed you. But I didn't miss the lightning.